Hello everyone, Salt Intuition Tarot, and I'm here to give you your weekend forecast. Let's get a little bit of astrology going on first. Um, with the sun in Aquarius, we're recognizing that things are outdated. And we're ready to change, and we have new ideas and methods. And we might often let our heads overrule our hearts, which, you know, is a good thing. We're going to uh, pursue the world with a rational approach to life. So, also, Mercury is in Capricorn. So, we're going to be able to sort out what is relevant and essential in our lives. Realism enters the picture. Our speech is no nonsense. And our precision becomes important to us. Our survival instincts are very strong and we're interested in what will benefit us along the way for the long term we're not interested in any type of fluff uh, also venus is in pisces so it's tender and affectionate when it comes to your love life but it's hard to reach there's a longing for something that is difficult to define and hard to satisfy so borders and boundaries are blurred under the venus in pisces the shadow side of this is that we are allowing ourselves to be deceived because we want to believe as well as achieve falling in love and we might might idealize an image or someone something or someone uh, so uh, avoid it or indirect behavior could be affected we also have mars in gemini and that is, you know, you're very versatile and flexible. You're determined and focused. It's excellent time for strategizing and uh, getting through tasks if you put anything aside so that you can achieve your goals. All right. Jupiter is in Aries. And um, I don't know if I have anything more to say about that. <laughs> Aries is a go-getter, so we're going to get it. Okay. All right. Now, Uranus is in, Uranus is in Taurus, so there can be some type of abrupt changes with money, valuables, possessions, and income that lead to reshuffling or prioritizing values. Income might come from non-traditional sources or ventures. In general, we're bringing progressive ideas to the world in business, new ways of doing business, as well as making and viewing and handling money. So our income and energy we put into making money can be variable. So let's not, uh, since, you know, Venus is in Pisces, let's not have any wishful thinking this weekend. So something you may be thinking is not really there. Uh, there is a shadow side. Don't allow yourself to be deceived or deluded. You know, we like to romanticize people. That's not exactly what's going on. We may, you know, decide we're in love with somebody we don't even know. So be careful of that. Also, there is going to be a full moon on the 5th. And that is this weekend. So be looking out for that. Now, let's get on with your tarot portion of this reading. Hope y'all are having a wonderful, or planning something wonderful this weekend. <laughs> uh, after all that, astrology. So here we go. What do we need to know for the weekend? What is it that we definitely need to know? So, whatever's been a burden to you, it is definitely coming to an end. You're putting your burdens aside, which means you probably want to go out and play. Pisces, got the moon card. That is definitely Pisces card. So, you've been hanging around stuck, thinking about how to drop your burdens. Uh, all that's coming to an end. Pisces, you're going to be able to drop those burdens this weekend. Probably got a lot of tasks done, rearranging, throwing things away. But there may be some conflict with some of y'all 
you know how you hoard up things and you don't want to give them away. You don't you don't know really what to do with them. You want to throw them away. You don't. But some people in your life may not like the fact that you're getting rid of things. Uh, a lot of people are going to minimalism. If you're trying to minimalize your life, there's some people in your surroundings that don't like it. But we don't care, do we? Because, you know, you have to clear a space to make you feel better, okay? It will definitely make you feel better if you clean out the clutter in your home. All right. For some of y'all, you are definitely planning. You could be planning a trip this weekend. You know, could be planning a wedding. Could be planning the future. It's going to take you the weekend to do that. The world card. There is success. Yes, this is a yes card. Number 21 could be significant significant to you. So success and achievement and travel. Yeah, you're going to fulfill, uh, you're going to have a sense of wholeness and belonging. What else for my collective? You have the Empress here. The yin and the yang. Nurturing yourself. Nurturing a marriage. Maybe some of y'all are playing a trip with your loved one that you're married to. You haven't got away in a long time. You've cleared out the clutter in your home. Cleared out the clutter in your life. You now have time to spend with your loved ones. Some of y'all are facing a decision. Could be a Libra also. And a Scorpio or a Virgo. Okay, y'all. Uh, I did draw the Ten of Swords. I ran out of space, so I have to do a voiceover. If you're going out with your co-workers this weekend, remember, when you're getting drunk, you get loose. So, you may say things and do things you would rather people not see. So, uh, yeah, there's a backstabbing betray here with someone you're spending time with this weekend. Be careful who that is. Someone that will tell your business. Maybe just an acquaintance that you run into. Be careful this weekend, y'all. Uh, you know, be careful, be safe. And y'all have a great weekend. Y'all check out my shorts. I appreciate y'all being here. Give me a like, subscribe, and comment. And y'all have a good weekend. Thank you for joining.